Greetings and salutations YouTube, it's Adrian here. Welcome to another edition of Goodwill Hunters Savers Edition. So today we are at Savers in Long Beach, California. I'm super excited to go and I haven't been here in a hot second. So I'm very excited to see what this store has for us today. Uh, if you guys love thrifting and love thrift hauls and vlogs, don't forget to subscribe to the little bell button for notifications. And don't forget to add me on Instagram. It's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. And check out my shop, it's Hadrian.com to see what I have for sale from my thrifting adventure. But without further ado, let's head into Savers right now and see what they have. I am like so excited. I hope you guys are too. Let's go. Ooh. Ten pieces. Ten dollars for my Chanel earrings. They're so cool. Fake though. Thank you. You're welcome. Just looking through the rest of the cases to see if there's any other cool jewelry in here. We have some Tory Burch, size 6.5 for 30. These Jimmy Choo's are quite nice as well. For 50, I do have a 30% off coupon, I think. So, I'm excited. There's some coach shoes. Ooh. Oh, these are nice. I think they're authentic too. Look like they've never been worn. Alright, we got a fake Prada right here. This is a Lionel bag. I don't know what this is. I feel like it's just from Target. Just found some little coach slippers. Side six. $15.99. So many shoes. Why do these almost look like Chanel's? <laughs> There's Steve Madden. I feel like Steve Madden makes a lot of shoes that look similar to others. Italian shoemaker. Are these also Italian shoemakers? Yep. Let's see if there's anything for mom in a size eight, eight and a half section. Wild Diva. Thought they were Wild Fox for a second. Oh my gosh, these are like stinking cute from Nautica. These are so cute. Ooh, Lucky Brand. These are nine and a half though. Oh, these are cute, but they're Yogi. What's that? Those are cute. They kind of remind me of like Gucci. The Gucci slides. Be part of the Gucci gang. <laughs> Do they have any cool guy shoes? These shoes are like looking really bare. But I don't spot anything that like. Like just looking really quickly. We have some berries over there, but those are tiny. Alright, you guys, we are going through the handbags. Seeing if they have anything good. So many bags to look at. Why does this look like a Louis Vuitton? That hardware. How much is this? $8.99. It's pretty cool. It's like a cute design. I wonder who makes it. Alright you guys, it didn't have any label or tag or anything inside and it was really really hard to open. So that's going to be a no-go for sure Z's. Totes Amaze. <laughs> Dude, that's from Target. I feel like that's where I've seen that before. Sislev. Oh, 
This leather feels like pretty nice. Oh, I think it's a fossil. Yes, it is. This is a vintage fossil. Wow. $6.99. Should I get this? Does, would anyone even like this style? I think I'm going to leave it, but let me know if you guys would like styles like this, like vintage fossils, if I find any more. I wonder if they have a sale today. Welcome back, Crown Anchor Society. First order, register, please. Thank you. So many pleather bags. Actually, Mom wanted me to find her like a cute, like natural fiber kind of bag like that. So currently, I'm on the hunt for one too. But I haven't found any like super cute ones. This is so cute, it looks like Gucci. I remember there's like a Gucci tote that they have like that. It's so nice. I really like it. Look at how tricky this print is. It looks just like Louis Vuitton. Oh, look at this. This is like a fabric coach. $9.99. It's actually not like in horrible shape. <gasps> it wants to come home with me. Okay, I might have to just take it. But we're, we're gonna think about it right now. This looks like another coach actually. Oh, this is definitely a coach. How did I not see this? Ooh. 25, that's not bad. Plus I like these. Styles. Okay, so I think I might get that. We have to look closer at uh, how to how like to tackle cleaning it. Cause there are some marks on it, but still pretty cute regardless. This Star Wars backpack is cool, but it's like super faded. Is this slam? No, just looks like it. I just went through the toys really quick, didn't really spot anything, but I'm going to look at the little bags of toys and see if there's anything inside these, because sometimes I find some good, like, cars and stuff, or trains that the boys like. I'm always looking for, like, cars, like, from Cars Land, or whatever. These are kind of cute. Are these like Lightning McQueen's for $3.99? I feel like he has, they have all those. Oh, these are cute. Powerpuff Girls Dimensions. Are these more Cars Land parts? I think they are. I might get these. These are fun, $3.99. I always look for the ones that have like a lot of stuff inside the bag. Or if they have like those Thomas the Train trains, because those are pretty expensive. But Elizo is completely obsessed with them. And it's so much cheaper just to get them here. <laughs> he just loses them all eventually anyway, so I'm just like, let's go Elizo. Just checking the furniture out, seeing what they have. Uh, I remember one time they had some fabulous chairs here I didn't end up getting and I was so sad and they were gone the next time I came back. Is this real? That is. I don't know what it is but like everywhere I go I see like walnut, like walnut shaped everything. Those are cute with little heart cutouts. So I'm looking through the home goods section. I love the home goods section, like the plates and stuff, but I find that here at Savers, they price like these items like a little excessively. 
but I don't know sometimes you can still find some good stuff but it's a little bit more few and far between like this Emil Henry $7.99 that's like a win Emil Henry is really expensive you can buy it at for sure William Sonoma I'm not too sure about um, like Sterletub but yeah this is a good one all right, let's check out the rest of this. This is cute. Stop, are these Mickey Mouse? Are they salt and pepper shakers? Oh, they are. How cute. I wonder if they have like the little bottom part. Look how stinking cute these lobster little bowls are. Oh my gosh. Ooh, great. I thought that this was anthropology for a second, but it's not. Tea time. Ooh, this Minnie Mouse cup is really cute. Just checking out the rest of the mugs. I'm trying to go quickly because my battery is like totally dying right now. <laughs> These are all of, like the cookware stuff. Here's more of the bakeware. I think this is Pyrex. The purple Pyrex? Oh, my camera's finally completely dying. I'm so depressed. Stop, is this like a horse candle? That's amazing. <gasps> Look at this guy. He's hilarious. Ooh, this is a cool little vase. $17.99 home accent. Oh, look at all the artwork. That one's pretty cool. Oh, all my batteries are dead. I'm so sad. Alright you guys, we just got back to the car. I'll show you guys what I got when we get home. Hey guys, okay, so we're at the house and it's a few days later, but I'm super excited to show you guys what we ended up getting at Savers. I didn't get too many things, but the things that I got are really, really good. So let me start off with this item. Now when I saw this, I was super excited about the price because it was $7.99. This is a Emil Henry baking dish, casserole dish. And Emil Henry is not cheap. It's sold at Williams Sonoma and it's Pretty comparable to like Le Creuset or Pampered Chef or um, Sir Le Taub, uh stuff like brands like that that are like pretty pricey. And this one is so gorgeous. It's like a nice neutral color. It has a like nice glaze throughout, and then it's like a stoneware piece. So really, really, really pretty. Emil Henry. So if you guys ever see Emil Henry at the Goodwill or thrift store at a decent price, definitely pick it up because it is amazing bakeware, and you're not gonna regret it. And it's going to cook your food deliciously. So we're very excited about that. Seven dollars and ninety nine cents. And you know, I think I talked about this uh, while we were at the Goodwill, but so are at the at Savers. Savers for some reason sometimes they price like bakeware and um, dinnerware like aggressively they price them a little bit more expensive than they would be at even like the Goodwills and because that's why I was like super excited to find one at $7.99 because that is an amazing price so um, up next I was really really excited about these shoes and they are these super cute Tory Burch shoes in this bright like magenta-ish purple color. They are so adorable. I love that they're like the leather. They have the leather medallions and not the um, not the metal ones because the metal ones always get scratched really easily. So these are just going to stay beautiful. Um, they're in really great shape. Um, they were $30. They're a size 7. 37, yeah. They're a size 37. And it's they're so cute. I love them so much. Uh, unfortunately, no one in my immediate family can wear these, but I know that a lot of you guys out there love Tory Burch shoes, and these are definitely going to be up in the store, and I actually have a couple other pairs I'm going to be listing very soon, so if you see this video and don't see them up in the shop, definitely message me and get me, like, lit a fire under my butt to get these things listed. Um, I, I know I have been, like, a little bad at been I have like been slacking on listing things, but I've just been so busy recently. The kids are, like, ending school, and... But this is the last week of school, so hopefully I'll have like more time to like, 
get stuff done. Um, but so cool. Size 37, Tory Burch, $30. I think that's a deal. Okay, so up next, I was really excited about this bag. Um, this one is a coach bag. And it's beautiful. I love, like, these are, um, when Coach, like, started this line, they, uh, this is actually a, like, kind of like a reinvigoration of, like, the classic silhouettes that they used to do. Um, and when they wanted to kind of, like, do a little bit of a departure on the, like, C, like, the Coach logos, like, that they've been doing. And they wanted to, like, go back to, like, the beautiful leathers. And I am so excited. I think these are called, um, the Legacy Collection. And... It's, they're beautiful. I really like these bucket bag style shapes and this like tan color is really really pretty with the gold hardware. This bag is in actually pretty good shape. The corners are a little bit dark but I think I can clean them up pretty well and like they're obviously like, they're not like very noticeable at all especially when you're wearing it. So really really pretty. This one was $25. The interior lining is in pretty good shape. Pretty clean, no like major stainage or anything. And yeah, such a beautiful little bag. Well, actually not little, it's a pretty big bag. And this actually will fit like a laptop um, and like books and stuff. So if you wanted to use this as a school bag or a work bag, that is definitely doable. Or even like a travel bag. This is perfect for travel. You can hold a ton of stuff in there. And that is gonna round out today's video. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Ooh, my arms are juggling. Um, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys had fun checking out savers and what we found. Um, let me know down in the comments below what your favorite item is that we found. And if you guys have found anything really cool recently, I love hearing about your finds as well. Don't forget to check out today's vlog. It goes up at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and a new thrifting video goes up tomorrow at 7 a.m. I love you guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Especially because it's actually really heavy. So it's not gonna like fall over. Like look how cute that is with your handbag on it. But I know that's not what it's for. And it's like adjustable, which is cool too. I think it's actually for like maybe a lantern or something. But I kind of like it to be honest. I also kind of enjoy that giant rooster thing. Like that is amazing. Made in 